start development, always we need the package management. The package management comes with Node.js application. So to install it, just place in Google Node.js and go to download and you will see the download for all operating systems. For example, I have here for Windows and also I have for Mac OS. There are two types like LTS, which is recommended for most users and the current, which is the latest features. It's better to get always a stable version, which is recommended for most users. Here, you can choose your installation based on your operating system and it will be simply an application like as any application you can install. So after that, you can download this application and run it and it will be like any normal application installation. So to be sure, after that you finish all of these steps, you need to run some npm commands. So to run npm commands, we can use Visual Studio Code. After opening the Visual Studio Code, you will see here the latest projects you have. But for example, we need to open the terminal of Visual Studio Code. So I will go here and say Control and J and then I will have the terminal opened. And in terminal, we can, for example, place a command Node.js. So we can say, for example, npm version. And we would get the full detail version about the installed Node.js. After that, we will be able to use Node.js package management, where there are many libraries we can use in our application and developments. Ok guys, let's now start installing the editor. The editor which we need is a Visual Studio Code. Of course, there are another editors which is up to you, you can install them like Atom or Sublime. But in my case, I prefer Visual Studio Code because it has a lot of extensions which will fast our coding. So first of all, I go to Google and I search for Visual Studio Code and I will get it in the first result and I will click on download. It's available on Windows, Linux and Mac. All the same way of installation. I will select my operating system which is Mac and it will get downloaded. After installing this program, you will be seeing this window. Visual Studio Code is a good editor for JavaScript, HTML and many other languages. And also it has very great extensions where we can do a lot of coding, fast coding. For example, we can check the extensions here, if we click on it, you will search in the marketplace for a lot of extensions. Visual Studio Code recommends a lot of extensions for JavaScript because you know that we are going to use JavaScript for Node.js. And as you see here, there is for example this ESLint that is prettier, there is also special extension for Node.js. So for me, I would prefer to install for example prettier, which will beautify my code whenever I click save, we will see how to configure it, and also Node.js extension. So let's start installing the prettier extension, I go to the marketplace, type prettier, I will get in the first result prettier code formatter. So I will click install it and it will be installed to my operating or to my editor. Of course, this extension need also installation of a library. As we saw before, we had before the installation of Node.js, we can install npm packages. And also, this prettier supporting the formatting when I click save or when I save my code. So let's see how to configure this prettier. First of all, we need to have a project. So first, I need to have a folder where I will place my project and place my configuration file. So first, I will go to open folder. I will select any folder on my operating system and I will go to my desktop for example and I will create a new folder Let's call it backend and then I will create the folder and open it. So here where we are placing the project structure, I am going to add the configuration file of Prettier. How we can do that? In Visual Studio Code, after installation of the Prettier 
we will have the shortcut where we can generate the configuration file. And the shortcut is Ctrl, Shift, and P. And in Mac, it will be Command, Shift, and P. And it will be the first line where is Prettier Create Configuration File. When I click on it, it will ask where you want to create the configuration file. I will say in my backend folder, and then I will see the configuration file Prettier RC is generated with some default values. But before that, we need to install library from npm packages, which is Prettier. So first, I will open the terminal in Visual Studio Code, and the shortcut for that is Control J, and I will have here the terminal. It's exactly like a command line. So first, we need to create package.json file, which is hosting the libraries which we need to install in our Node.js application. But now, we will care only about the prettier part. So I will create a file, npm init, and then it will give me some input information. I will press enter for everything, and then I will see that I have a package.json file created. After that, we have to install the prettier. So I will say npm install prettier. After installing prettier, we will be able to have it in the node modules and it will be automatically used by the editor. Let's try now the prettier formatting. Let's see how it will format for me a JavaScript. So I will create a new file, call it index.js and I will type, for example, a method or constant, call it uh, f, and this f will be a function, and this function will, for example, return for me or do something like return hello. Let's make mistakes in formatting. For example, I will put like this, and I will define a variable here, call it uh, x, which has value string and when i want to format this file i will press as we saw in the documentation of this prettier it says here that i when i want to format something i have to press command shift p or control shift p so let's try that in our file i will go to the file back control shift p and then I will see format document. When I click on it, I will see the document is already formatted. And also, it will format the files when I click save. So when I press save, it will format automatically. So here, let's make another mistake in the format and click or save or control S. And I will see the file is formatted. In this way, we will keep our code clean based on this configuration. If you go to Google and type prettier, you will have in the results configuration file. If you click on this configuration file, you will see example of configuration. Of course, there are many configuration that you can add them to your code. So first, let's take for example this one and place it here. And we will notice that we will have tab width is four spaces. And if I go here and press save again, I will see that I have four spaces for the tab. You can read about documentation of this prettier configuration and configure your application or your formatting based on that configuration. Now we are ready to start coding in a beautiful and efficient way. When we are creating APIs, we need to test them. You can test your APIs with a front-end application like React or Angular or Vue.js. But we are going in this course to start with the back-end first. So the best way to do that and test the APIs is installing a tool called Postman. Let's go to Google. You go to the Download Postman. And here you will find based on your operating system. So here you will choose Download the application. And after it get downloaded, it will be a normal setup like any application. 
After opening the downloaded file, you will get notification if you are using Mac OS and it will ask you to move this application to application folder. And after that, you will see this application is located in your application folder. The same thing for Windows. It's normal installing like any small application. After opening the application, you will be able to test APIs. Let's test one. When you go to Google and type JSON placeholder, you will see the first link is some fake APIs. So you can test a get requests or post requests. So let's try this one. It says here as a get request, I go to the postman and then I open a new tab with get request and place the link which I copied from JSON placeholder and press send. I will get a response. This response comes as a JSON and in the same way we are going to build our APIs. For our eShop, we need to have a database. And the database, we don't need to install any software. We will use MongoDB Atlas. MongoDB offering now an online database storage, which is mean that the database is already in the cloud. What we need to do, just to go to the URL which I attached with this lecture and create an account here and sign up and then log into your account. After logging, you will see this screen that you need to create a project. So first of all, you need to create a project for our eShop. So you go here and say, I want a project, which is for example, eShop. And I click next and then creating the project. After that, the project require a cluster so we need to build a cluster where we offer our database. So here there are shared clusters, which is for free. You can use it and choose the closest server to your country. For example, I will use this one, the default one. And then after creating the cluster, we are ready to create our database. The database in MongoDB called collection. So you need to go to the collections and create a new one based on your need. We have already one which we created for the course in the project zero. Here there are collections and I created multiple databases. So your part is just to create an account and create cluster and create your own collection which we will use in the course. We will see later how to make the connection between our backend code and the MongoDB in the cloud.